Hi, Jaden. We've had a lot of good chances lately to be able to talk about God, and you've asked some really great questions. And so I thought I would show you a book here that shares more about God. Does that sound good? Okay. Well, let's take a look at this book. When you look at this book, what do you notice about it? It doesn't have any words. It doesn't. It doesn't even have any pictures. But do you know what? It has the best news in all the world, and it's absolutely true. So we're going to start right here on the gold page. This page reminds me of God and his home in heaven. And it has a street in it that's made completely of gold. You've heard about God before and that God made the world and everything that's in it. Like he made the animals and the mountains and even the stars that shine at night. But can you think of something that God has made? Trees. Yeah, he's made the trees. But the most special thing that God has made his people. And God made you and he loves you very much. And the reason I know that is because it says so right here in God's book, the Bible, it says this, for God so loved the world. Now, when it says world, it's not talking about the trees and all those kinds of things. God loves them, but mostly it's talking about that God loves the people. And you could even say, for God so loved Jaden. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Another thing about God is that he's holy. That means he's 100% good. He never does anything that's wrong. Everything he does is right and good. And his home in heaven is also perfect. And so there can be no bad things that happen in his home. Best of all about heaven is that Jesus, God's son, lives there too. Now, Jaden, are you perfect like God all the time? Do you do things that are right all the time? No. No, neither do I. And that's what this dark page reminds me of. It talks about things that are sin. Now, Jaden, sin is thinking or saying or doing things that go against what God says is right. Can you say that with me? Sin is thinking or saying or doing things that go against what God says is right. Now, when we think about that, the Bible talks about sin as being dark, which is why this page is dark, to remind us of sin. Let's think about some things that are sin. Uh, doing sin might be stealing something that isn't yours. Or a uh, saying sin could be saying something really mean about someone else. Or a uh, thinking sin could be that you think really mean thoughts about somebody else as well. Can you think of anything else that might be sinful? Fighting. Yeah, fighting can be. And you know what? God tells us how many people in the world have sinned. Look at what he says right here. It says, for how many? for all, all have, have sinned. Sin. When it says all, how many people do you think that means? Everybody. Everybody. Does it mean me? Uh-huh. Does it mean you? Yes, it does. Every single one of us have done those things that are wrong. And because of our sin, God says that we have to be punished by being away from him forever from his perfect home in heaven. Jaden, have you ever done anything wrong? Have you ever done anything wrong? Yeah? Well, do you know what? Because God loves you so much, He made a way that your sinful things could be taken care of. And that's what this red page reminds me of. The red page reminds me that God sent His Son, the Lord Jesus, to the earth as a baby, and He never sinned as He grew up. Can you imagine that? Never doing anything wrong? Well, He didn't. He was 100% perfect. And when Jesus was a man, he allowed other men to take him and nail him to a cross. And he bled and died for all the wrong things that you and I do. Jesus hadn't done anything wrong himself. In fact, he didn't deserve to die because he hadn't done anything wrong. But he was taking the punishment for your sin and for mine. And that's why this page is what color? Red. It's red because it reminds us of Jesus giving his blood. The Bible tells us what happened. Remember, God's word is true, so we can believe it. Can you read this with me? It says that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. Now, Jaden, we can put this on our hands. 
Christ is another way to say Jesus. And when Jesus died, he had nails put in the middle of his hands. So that's how you say Jesus. And how did he die? On a cross, right? So Christ died mm -hmm. and he died for our sin. What does this remind you of? Sin. Yeah, fighting, doesn't it? So Christ died mm -hmm. for our sins. Sin in accordance with the scriptures. scriptures. So we're gonna make a Bible that reminds us that that's what God's word says. But the next part says, and he was buried. buried. And they buried him in a tomb. That was kind of like a cave. And they put his body there, but according to the Bible, it says he didn't stay there. It says he was raised on the third day. And I'm doing it like this, because you know what? There was a stone in front of the tomb and when they rolled the stone away, guess what? Was he there? Huh? He was risen. That's right. He was raised from the dead on the third day. And how do we know that? According, According to, to the scriptures. scriptures. Very good. And so the, the Bible tells us that Jesus did that for you and for me. And we know that Jesus didn't stay dead. That God brought him back to life. And later he went to heaven where he is with his father and where he lives now as ruler over everything. When he came to earth, he came to die for someone special. Do you know who that is? Oh. Yeah, he came to die for you and he came to die for me. Because of what Jesus did, you can have your sins forgiven and you can be made clean on the inside. And that's what this verse tells us right here. It says, believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. To believe means to trust completely that Jesus is the only way that your sins can be forgiven. And he says, and you will be saved. And to be saved means that you will be forgiven of your sins and, and that he will give you a special friendship that starts today and then will last forever. And you'll be able to live with him in his home someday in heaven. Do you believe that Jesus died for you, Jaden? Yes. Yeah. Have you ever told God that you believe in Him? No. No? Well, did you know that you can talk to God about what you believe at any time, even right now? And you can just say to Him in prayer, talking to Him like you would talk with me, you could say, Dear God, uh -huh. and then tell Him about your sin, and you can tell Him that you're sorry, and then you can tell Him that you believe that the Lord Jesus died for you, and you can thank Him for that, and you can tell Him, Lord, I want to live your way. If you want to tell God that right now and tell Him out loud, you could do that, and if you get stuck, I'll help you. Remember, we're going to start with telling God about your sin and then thanking Him for what He's done for you. Would you like to talk to Him right now? Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Dear God, I know that I've sinned. I know I've sinned. And what did Jesus do for you? Can you thank him for dying for you? Thank you for dying on the cross for me. And can you tell him that you want him to forgive your sin? I want you to forgive my sins. And I want to live your way. And I want to live your way. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Very good. All right. So, Jaden, can you tell me, what did God do for you just now? He saved me. How do you know that? The Bible says so. It does say so. Look at what it says right here. It says, believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. So, if you truly believe that he died for you, did you make that decision? Did you decide that you believed in him? Mm -hmm. So what did he promise you? You will be saved. So he said, you will be, that's for sure, isn't it? So you could say, if Jaden believes in the Lord Jesus Christ, Jaden will be saved. So if you put your faith in him and trusted him completely, then he did that for you. And that's a wonderful promise you can remember. But he also gives you another promise. And he says this, can you read this with me? I will no. never uh -huh. leave you you. And when he says that, that means you can know for sure that, that Jesus is with you always, 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 no matter where you go, he is with you. And then there's another special promise that he gives you. He says, the, the Lord, Lord is, is my helper. helper. And he will help you when you're having a hard time, maybe at school or at home, but really specially, 
God will help you to say no to those things that you're tempted to do that would be wrong, to sin. So, Jaden, when you have believed on the Lord Jesus and you're saved, you can get to know God better. And that's what this green page reminds me of, things that grow. And one of the ways that you can grow, not taller, but how to be like Jesus, is, is to go to church and to Good News Club, because you'll hear more about God there. You can even read your Bible. Even reading a few verses each day will help you to know what God wants you to do, the way He wants you to live. And then it's important for you to do what He says. That helps you. And then you can talk to God about anything. Jaden, can you tell me what the word is that we use for when we talk to God? What's that called? Praying. Praying, yeah, that's right. And you can talk to God about anything. And there's something special that you can talk to God about. And that is when you choose to do something that's wrong. Jesus has forgiven all of your sin when he died at the cross, but there's something he wants us to do. He says this, if we confess our sins, and to confess means to agree with God that what you did was wrong. Listen to what he promises. He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. That means God will always do what's right. He will always keep his promise, and that is that he will forgive you because Jesus already paid for your sin. Jaden, I'm going to give you a paper that talks about the things we have talked about today and the decision that you made. And as you look at this paper, it will remind you of what we talked about. But then you could use this paper to share with someone else so that they could know how they could have their sins forgiven too. Okay? And if you have any other questions, you can always come and talk to me, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you for coming and letting me tell you the story.